everybody. Um, I just got these new stamps, and I wanted to show you what I decided to do with them. Um, something new that I'm trying. Um, first of all, this one. How cute is that? Can you even see that? Let me put it against something. Oh, my goodness. Look at how adorable that is with the fishies and the fishbowl. Oh, I have the cutest card coming up. You'll, you'll, you're going to love it. Um... And then I forgot this one, um, because I have my cat album coming up. Catitude, I love that. Catitude. Um, so, the difference between, first of all, this one, um, as you can see, this is attached when you take it off. So it folds right back over, which is kind of nice. It, it just has, um, like a fold. Um, so I wanted to do that with this one as well, because this one, they're not adhered anywhere together. So, basically, and this is kind of messed up, which kind of pissed me off, but, um, so I'm going to make them adhere together with da -da -da, some tape. So, basically, I'm just going to make the same thing that this one has, um, but this one, since it's a little flimsier, I'm going to make it along the side to reinforce it, so that way when it opens, it'll, it'll open like this. Um, and it'll have a little bit of reinforcement on it. So I'm just using some clear packing tape so it doesn't distort the image. And I'm just going to put some tape. I want to open this one. On it like so. So you can still see the image. I'm just going to cut it. Okay. I'm going to take the whole thing out. Flip it over, make sure it is where, this piece is where it needs to be. I'm just going to fold this right over like that. And now, I have a nice little folder so that they're always protected. Okay. And then the second thing I'm going to do, and I did do that. Okay. And the second thing I want to do is, um... Let me show you on this one. Um, second thing I've decided to start doing is um, I don't like to store my clear stamps in with this packaging in these bags because these bags get really annoying to me um, to open and close. Um, this stuff always sticks and I have trouble getting them out. So I, I like to store them differently. And so with this being like a folder, like we talked about, I decided that on this back side where no stamps are adhered, I punch a hole. So I'll do it on this one. I have to do it on this one. Um, I'm going to punch a hole, like right here. Um, let me see that. I'm taking this one, this top piece, and I'm taking a hole punch, and I'm punching a hole. And then I have this, because I do like to know what stamps I'm using. So this is the Inka Dinka Doo Cats stamp set. So all I'm doing is putting this through the hole, sticking this through here, if I can open it. And now, when I put it in its case, I still have this, so I know where the stamp comes from, but I don't have to store it in this packaging, which I just don't like. So I did the same thing with this one. This one, in case anyone is wondering, this adorable stamp set, is from Stampendous, and it's called the Sushi Bowl Party. So I have a really cute card that I have a birthday that I'm going to this weekend. Um for a cat. And so I'm going to make the cutest card and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to film it. So I'm also using one of these. I don't have a clip it up, but I did buy a couple of the containers. Um, and this is going to store right in here. I'm just going to store these two stamp sets right like that in the clip it up. And um, that's only because I ran out of the transies, and these are a little bit thicker, and I, I kind of like it. So, how cute. 
Okay, so that was my quick tip on how to keep the um, your stamped front and your stamp back together when they're not um, nicely done like this one. Um, okay, so that's my tip. Use tape. Thanks. Bye.